Language Arts Lesson 3. Titles, do we underline them or do we put quotation marks around them? So sometimes when we write, let's say, a sentence and we have uh, a boat name in there, do we underline it because it's a big thing or do we put quotation marks around them? What do we do? So basically, there's a huge list. Here's some things that we have to underline. The first part of this lesson has to do with underlining, and the second part has to do with quotation marks. So let's do this. The first one right here is a train. So if there's a train in your sentence, let's say a sentence could say something like, I saw one here in your book, having to do with a locomotive. Ah, right there. The Zypher was the first diesel electric locomotive. That a locomotive is a train type of thing. So that you would underline. When you're handwriting something with a pencil, with a pen or something like that, you would underline it. And when you're typing, that's when you would put them in italics. I try to write it slanted, and if it looks slanted, great. If not, well, that's what I mean. Anyway, so do that with a train name with a jet, Boeing 775. I don't know what Boeing numbers are. But anyway, just underline them or put them in italics. And then here's a submarine and space shuttle, spacecraft, SpaceX. Boop. Make it italicized or underline it. There's also, let's say, the Leamington and Kingsville boat, the Gmon or the Peely Islander 1 or 2, you would either underline them or put them in, in italics. One way to very easily th remember how to, which ones to underline or italicize is what takes long. It takes quite some time to make a spacecraft, a watercraft, aircraft, landcraft, whatever it is. If it takes quite a bit of time, it's likely needed to be underlined or italicized. Now, the other part of this is newspapers. This thing came to school just today. So, Sun, South Point Sun. It's a newspaper. It needs to be underlined in a sentence. Because, first of all, it takes longer to write a newspaper than it does to just write an article. So we'll take a look at the articles later. So, newspaper, you underline it. It's a Nat National Geographic magazine. So this would take a little longer to write than just one article. Therefore, you would underline where food begins. That's the title of this magazine, and a magazine takes longer, therefore you underline it or put it in italics. Now, a book, same thing. A book takes significantly longer to, to write than does just one chapter. What, this book has, what, 20-something 20, 20 chapters. So, if it's a book title, A Thousand Shall Fall, then you would underline it or put it in italics if you're typing it. So anything, anything that takes longer, space, craft, a train, a jet, a boat, a book, a magazine, a newspaper, they all are italicized or underlined. Now the next part we're going to take a look at which ones do we put quotation marks around. So for quotation marks, we will, again, take a look at the inside of a book now. Anything that has quotation marks around it is in the inside of a book. So let's say a chapter. A chapter title, like the water wheel, is put in bunny ears, or quotation marks, because 
It is inside of a book. It's smaller. And then the title of a poem right here, On Writing Poetry. It's actually a title of a poem, not just talking about poetry. Or, well, let's see if I can find another title. The Celestial Surgeon is also a title of a poem, therefore we must put bunny ears around them, or quotation marks. And then, an article. Anything shorter. Are teachers real people? Actually, they are. But here, we would put quotation marks around them, instead of, if this would end up in a magazine, then we would underline it, because the title of a magazine needs to be underlined, but this goes inside of a magazine, therefore the article itself needs to be in quotation marks. And then the last type is music. Any type of music. Thou art God is a lengthier music, but it is not extremely long. Therefore, we would put this in quotation marks. And now, basically, remember that anything that is bigger gets underlined or italicized, and anything that is inside of a book has bunny ears around it. Now, there are some exceptions. The exceptions are if it's a book of the Bible or the word Bible. Even though it's a book, chapters, or whatever you want to call it, they do not get underlined, they do not get italicized, and they do not have bunny ears or quotation marks. They, you just leave that word as it is. Let's say Romans. Do not put any underlining, any italicizing, or any quotation marks around them. And then, besides that, there's one other thing. I think I had this book here before. If the word, words at, and, and the come at the beginning of the title, it's actually a part of the title, then that is also italicized. And if I would say, for instance, this one right here, talk about the South Point Sun, I would write the South Point Sun, and then just underline South Point Sun because the is not a part of the title. Now, if we have something like this, a thousand shall fall, at is a part of the title, therefore we would underline all of it with at in there as well. So go ahead and do the new part on your own and the rest of the lesson. If you have any questions, let me know.